Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a middle school advice and tips and basically my experience with middle school. Um, I'm really excited for school this year. I mean, I'm not, but I am. Like, I might as well be excited for it because we all have to do it, so. Might as well have a positive attitude. I'm going to be a freshman this year, so I'm done with middle school, thank God. But yeah, because I'm just excited for high school because I feel like, you know, it's high school. Everyone's going to grow up, so I'm excited to get out of middle school, so yeah. And... Um, again, I hope that you guys, like, find this video helpful, and, yeah, I'm not, like, an expert or anything, this, is, I'm just, I'm, I literally haven't watched one of these videos, because I'm already out of middle school, why would I watch middle school tips, but yeah, I'm totally just winging this, so, if this video is stupid, I really apologize. Oh, and on my supplies haul, if you're new to my channel, then welcome, and thanks so much for subscribing, I gained, um, a decent amount of subscribers from my supplies haul so if you're new to my channel welcome and on that video I got so much hate from my voice that it goes like low than high if my voice bothers you don't watch the video like j no okay so getting into them I have them like written down right here these are in like no order they're just legit random so number one is don't be cocky so I know it sounds like random but don't be cocky because um Honestly, that's just not a good trait. Like, there's a huge difference between, you know, being confident in yourself and being cocky. Don't be cocky and talk about yourself all the time. I don't know. I just don't. I hate when people are like that. It just bothers me. Number two is do not stop in the middle of the hallway to talk to your friend. If you have to talk to your friend, like, pull them aside and be like, oh my gosh, I have to tell you something. And then, like, go to the side. Don't just be walking and then stop in the middle of the hall and be like, oh my gosh, did I tell you? Like, just don't do it because I promise you, you are going to get in someone's way and that person, it's just going to drive them insane. So, just don't stop in the middle of the hallway. My third tip is be happy. And obviously, okay, so the other day, I'm trying to have this attitude, okay? Just be happy. So, the other day, I was with Lauren, and my clinic chubby stick in Mighty Mimosa is, like, my baby. And I was, like, putting the cap on, and it was, like, flipped. So, I went to put the cap on, and I, like, smushed the cap into the like crayon thing so I was like oh my gosh and Lauren was like oh dude are you mad and I was like you know what and I just thought like don't be mad because there's nothing that you can do to take it back like being mad isn't gonna make your like this is a stupid example but like being mad isn't gonna make your lip butter go back to normal you know so like let's say you'd get a bad grade on a test don't let that like ruin your whole day just tell yourself you know next time I will study more and I'll take more notes or something like that don't let it ruin your entire day just be happy just shake it off and fall down seven times stand up eight my next tip is do not procrastinate this is a really really bad habit of mine and it's really hard to break so I recommend just don't even do it one time because seriously it's like awful so basically procrastination, you guys probably know what it means, but it just means like putting stuff off. Like if you get homework on Monday and it's due on Wednesday, do it Monday night because you're going to be so happy Tuesday night when everyone's like, oh my gosh, I still have to do that math homework. And you're going to be like, done. Which also leads to my next tip. And that is, I seriously like recommend this so much. And I recommend doing your homework as soon as you get home from school. I know that that seriously sucks. Like to go from school, come home and do more schoolwork. I know that that seriously sucks. And maybe you can take like, a, like five minute break and listen to like some music or something but I recommend doing it as soon as you get home while it's still fresh in your mind rather than at 10 o'clock at night after you like ate dinner or talked with your parents you know watched a few episodes of TV and listen to music and everything um you'll have so much more in your mind so I recommend doing it right after school when it's all like still fresh in your mind and it's kind of hard to get yourself to do it but I really recommend it also this is just really like short and me and Ashley or her beauty and fashion plus we're talking about this the other day make wide turns like honestly when you're walking in the hallway if you like hug the side you're gonna like crash into someone I promise so just make wide turns and yeah I hate that I hate when I do that and I like stay like on the inside because I always crash into someone and I'm like Rachel like why did you just do that next is participate in class um honestly answer a few questions every once in a while no one's gonna be like wow nerd alert no one's going to do that I promise so yeah I would just recommend participating in class to show your teachers that you actually give a crap about school so yeah I recommend actually trying in school I know that middle school is not as important as high school but still if you get used to having bad grades when you get in high school when it really really matters you're gonna be so used to getting C's and D's or whatever 
that it's not going to seem like a big deal. You're going to get so used to it. So honestly, if you get used to just getting average grades in high school, you're still going to get it because it's going to be habit. You're going to be so used to not even trying or caring. So please just try. I know that it's not like as important as high school, but still it does matter and it will make a difference and help you along the way. So yeah. Also, don't judge people and don't be afraid to make new friends. If you have like a study hall or gym or something, which I didn't have that until 8th grade, but if you do, don't be afraid to like go up to someone if you don't have like your best friend in your class. Don't be devastated and be like, wow, I'm going to be such a loner. Don't be afraid to go up to someone that maybe you used to be friends with, but you guys just kind of grew apart or if you're new, don't be afraid to go up to someone. Like no one's honestly just going to be like, don't talk to me. I promise no one's going to do that, so don't even worry about that, and don't judge people because you never know what they're really like on the inside, because honestly, a year later, you guys could be best friends, so just don't judge people because honestly, people can be so different from what they look like, so just please do not judge people because honestly, it can be so misleading, and I just, it's not a good thing. So yeah, that was my middle school tips and advice. I hope you guys found it somewhat helpful and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave me any requests you have down below for this series because I love making these videos for you guys and also please subscribe it means the world to me and follow me on Instagram it's always linked in the town bar so yeah I love you guys so much bye okay yeah and huh. is the, 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 what what what